Hey everybody, this is the Algebra 2 week rundown for the week of March 1st until the 5th, okay? Looking at my date on mine, I have to actually change it. So, um, we're still in Chapter 5 and we're going to continue on with inverses. A lot of the stuff that we did this past week, we're going to be looking at more in depth later. So, if you had a really good grasp of what's going on, you're going to be totally fine for the things that are coming up. I know in some of my examples and some of my later classes, we had extra time. We talked about domain and range. That's going to be one of the focuses of what we're going to do. Also, the other thing we're going to do is find the inverse algebraically without having to write the steps out in words. If you feel comfortable with that, you totally can continue to do that. Um, but there is another way for you guys to do it algebraically, and it has to do with all the things that we have been doing. So everything kind of links together with the inverses. All right, so we're going to learn about that algebraic way on Monday, Tuesday, you have a delta math assignment, um, and you're going to just have a function, and you're going to find its inverse. Um, that's your first assignment of the week. And then the second part of the week, we're going to be looking at the domain and range of functions, or as the original function, and then the inverse, and the relationship between those, and sometimes how we have to change um, the domain of the inverse so it matches the graph of the original function, because we did say the shapes have to be the same. And I know fifth hour, we kind of talked about like, okay, if I graph this, they don't look the same. What could I do to make sure that the graphs look the same, but they're still reflected over y equals x? Um, next week, Friday, you'll also have a quick check. It is a full week next week, so you will have a quick check. Um, and you will also have a video. Not really sure how that's going to go, but you don't have a video for this week. So if you're watching this on Friday, um, February 26th, Yep, 26. Um, you guys don't have a video because you do have Friday off technically. Um, and hopefully if you did take Friday off, you did finish your quick check because there was one out there. I put it out there on Wednesday and it's due today by two. Like I said, we don't have school. So if you wanted that no school kind of thing, just get it done beforehand. You had more than enough time to do it. Um, and then next week is like our last week of this blended schedule. And then we go to another schedule. Um, so that's what we got this week. So we're kind of wrapping up inverses right now. We're going to do looking at them algebraically on Monday, Tuesday, and we're going to look at domain and range restrictions on Wednesday, Thursday, quick check on Friday. You'll also have some kind of video. Remember that questionnaire for seating is still out there. If you filled it out, fantastic. If you didn't, please do that. Um, I did mention to all of you that I do need to have a match. So if I want to be with somebody, that somebody also had to write me down. Um, that's just the way it has to be in these times. So I hope you guys understand that. And I hope that those questionnaires get to me by next week, Tuesday or Wednesday, because that's when I have to start to figure out where people are going to sit for the following week. Um, a heads up on that first week, the ACT week, that Friday, when we're all together, Fridays are going to be your quick check days. Those are the days that you should be doing your quick checks anyway, but some of you don't. Um, so those are going to be the days we do that, maybe do some catch up, maybe do some wrapping up of the week um, if we didn't quite get to something. But that's what those Fridays are going to end up being, which means that the first Friday you're going to have, you guys, you are going to have a test. All right. So for those of you that are in person, the whole group is going to take a test on paper like we did last time. I'm really loving paper. And I know some kids are too. Um, and we will also have that test on formative for the full virtual kids. Um, just a heads up that this week I am working on how I can make class better for the kids who are virtual and in person. Right now, I'm really focusing on the bulk of the kids, which any day it's the virtual kids. Um, but I'm going to have more kids in my class. So my goal is to get, I'm hoping to get a better webcam um, and be able to use my dry erase board. So just so you guys know, if you're a full virtual kid and you're using your phone to, um, get class, that screen's not going to be big enough, okay? Um, you have to make sure that you have a computer screen because I know some people go back and forth between computer and phone. All right, so that's kind of wrapping up this week and looking on to the next with a new schedule. Um, remember that questionnaire. Remember if you didn't do your quick check this week to make sure that gets done. I hope you guys have a great extended weekend. Um, I am going to be working a little bit today, so your grades will be updated and your quick checks will be done this afternoon. Have a great day.